Mitch Aurora. It's a wicked, jealous <laughs> vampire. Yeah. How was it playing such a cruel character? Um, well, it's interesting you say cruel because in playing her, I didn't. I found her. She was ruthless and she was deranged. But I think she was also very vulnerable, very heartfelt, and very hurt and very broken. So to me, as the actress playing her, I didn't see her as wicked. I saw her as justified. Because when you look at her backstory, uh, she had a very rough upbringing. Her mother died in childbirth. Her father always resented her. Her brother was possessive. And then she falls in love with this incredible guy. He is her soulmate. And then... Um, she's screwed over by all that, you know, Elijah compels her and then he, you know, makes their family bait for Michael Michelson and then, you know, she, her love is destroyed, you know, so she's been hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and hurt and on top of that, she has clinical bipolar, you know, she has a chemical imba imbalance in her brain. So when you look at all those circumstances put together and then you look at what she does, a lot of the time she's fighting for love or she's been really badly hurt and she wants revenge. So I think she, she makes bad decisions out of hurt, but I don't think she's a wicked person. So that's my understanding, and that's how plain her was for me. It was like, oh, I get it. I get why you would be so angry. I get why you're so hurt. I get why you're angry at him and going after him or, or going after Cammy and you hate Cammy. But there was also a lot of love in her performance. There's also a lot of um, passion and a lot of um, desire, you know, So um, and a lot of loyalty as well, you know, a lot of love with her brother. So I thought she was a very... Um, there was a lot of wide scope to who she was, you know. But she was she was very dangerous. She's very powerful, and she she's very jealous, you know, yeah. which makes her do crazy things. You know, very violent. She was very violent, but it was fun for me because she'd be so violent, and then she'd be like girly and cute again, and you know, so it was such a bizarre character to play. Like the Joker. <laughs> yeah, she is. She's like a she's like a mini female vampire, thousand year old bipolar Joker. <laughs> Uh, which is really fun, like what a fun character to play as an actress. What was your um, fascination when you got the script? Uh, when I got the script, she was very demure, uh, very sexy, very poised, very intelligent. And I really enjoyed that element of her. Um, and it was a challenge for me because I'm, I'm a bit of a dork. I, to be honest, I'm very, I'm kind of weird and I'm dorky and I'm... Uh, <laughs> Very down to earth. I I'm not a very sexy, demure, poised kind of a person. You know, I'm a, I'm very I'm a tomboy. I have brothers. You know, so it was a challenge for me to do that character, which intrigued me. And as she developed, she actually became there was a, a childlikeness and an innocence that came out, like a kind of playful kind of thing, mm -hmm. along with the sexy demure, along with the maniacal violent. You know, so she kind of had this huge spectrum of of colors that came out of her. So and that's what intrigued me and fascinated me about the character when I first read her that she was so so dynamic. There was so much to her. She wasn't cuz usually you're playing like I'm a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm very serious or you know, I'm the teenage love girl. Uh, you know, so it was good to be uh, so interesting. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, what was your favorite moment sh filming uh, the originals, playing Aurora? Have you got a favorite scene? Yes, yes. I really enjoyed episode seven. It was the Thanksgiving dinner. Um, that was really fun just as an actress because um, it was a fun day on set with Daniel and Joe, Ollie and Andy and I, the five of us sitting around the table and it was a long day and there were lots of dialogue and lots of, we just kept cracking each other up behind the scenes. We were just, we just were laughing all day because it was such a funny bunch of people and we all got each other's sense of humor. So that, that was my favorite because it was just so funny. Um, and there were funny moments, like there was this little, like, she's at the bottom of the ocean with all the crabs and the fish, and like I had this funny little crab moment, and then in the same episode I got this big fight with Haley and, um, and Freya, and we, you know, I was like doing this fight scene in a ball gown and six inch heels and really laying into each other, and mid-fight scene I'm laughing my head off, going like, oh, well done, like you're strong, and... 
um, oh, that tickled. I haven't felt pain in a thousand years. So I got, I, it was a very like interesting episode and lots of fun. Uh, and I loved episode 13, maybe, no, I think it was 14 where I've got the white oak bullets and the gun um, and running through the forest and that was fun. Yeah, I saw it um, 14? Yeah, I think it was 14. I think it was yeah, episode 14. Yeah. Um, yeah, and I really enjoyed watching episode 6. I think it was episode 6 with the Strips. The Strips and the, or maybe it was 4, but it was like a big ball. And Aya and Marcel are like, they're trying to get, they're trying to initiate Marcel into the Strix. Um, I thought that was a really cool episode to watch. I thought that was really, really cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, there were, there were so many. There was so much fun. I, I actually really enjoyed... There was an episode, I think it was episode 6. Yes, episode 6 where Aurora and Klaus were like on good terms with each other and they went on a couple of dates and he took her around New Orleans and got her a yeah. birthday. And, um, they were like on a, on a date and that was really nice because there was so much like lost love and pain and I hate you and I love you. And, but that was just a nice episode where they were just kind of like flirting. And it was all kind of like simple and nice. I, I liked that too. How was it to work with Joseph Mon? He's great. He's so professional. He loves what he does. He's very serious about what he does. And he doesn't take it for granted. Which is um, incredible after, you know, he's done one, two, three, four, five seasons. It's class now, I think. You know, people, you can get bored creatively. But I think he does a really good job of keeping it alive and keeping the passion for this character going. And I think that comes across to the people watching it, you know, that he's invested still. And um, he's actually a little shy at first. And then once you get to know him, he's very funny. Like, he's, he's a real, um, he's very cheeky. And yeah, so he, he made it really good. And he loves the work. So it was good for me as an actress to, to work with him because... We really got to play with the scenes and be very available and alive. The scenes were very alive. He was very present and so um, it was good. We got to challenge each other. So he was awesome. He was really, really good. Yeah, he's my favorite character. Yeah? Yeah, that was the reason why I watched uh, Vampire Diaries. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. At, at the first time, Vampire Diaries, okay, it's a tragic love story. Uh, yeah, see it, and then came Klaus, and he was great. He was yeah. fantastic character, and he's my favorite ca character. Yeah, and if you look universe. at it, fans, if you love Klaus, you can't be angry at Aurora because he is such a bad guy. And he's a villain. He's naughty. He's killing people, but he is a broken man trying to be better and is that not what Aurora's doing? Is she not his equal? Is she not the same? She's the same as him. So you can't love one and hate the other. Well you can because she turned Cammy into a vampire and I understand. And she tried to kill Klaus and Elijah but could never go through with it either way because she loves them more than she hates them deep down I think. But yeah, I think Aurora's started a lot the same as what Klaus has started. You know, like a very broken person who makes very bad decisions, but deep down wants to be good, you know. Yeah, but at the first time I like her, but she tortured Klaus. That was... Yeah, but he likes it, doesn't he? Deep down. <laughs> yeah. He's a saucy mix. He likes it. Yeah. Um, no, well, I know, but did she? could she ever bring herself to kill him? Could she ever do it? No. But he would kill her. He wouldn't. He wouldn't even think about it. Right? <laughs> right? He's really makes you think, doesn't it? And what about Elijah? He's like, oh, this good guy. But he's the one who compelled them. He's like, Klaus doesn't deserve to feel love. I'm going to destroy you. He destroyed them. He's naughty. Yeah. He's mean. He took something so beautiful out of the world and he just took it away from them both. I think Elijah's a bad guy. Yeah, a really bad, bad guy. guy. <laughs> a really bad, bad guy. guy. I th more times I think better than Klaus because he He's like a maniac, yeah. uh, I think. He's got the red door. Yeah. Uh -huh. The red door thing, right? All yeah. these evil dark secrets of the past coming out. And yeah. Yeah. And the worst part is he pretends to be a good guy, but he's not. He's bad. He's a bad guy. Yeah. Have a good time. I think. Oh. Yep. When have they done anything? When have they done anything? Ja. 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 Ja.
ein oder zwei. Ja, da ist ja eine zweite Interview danach. Ich komme jetzt kurz zu dir, ich komme. Ist ja eine zweite Interview danach, wie das mit diesem Lesen ist. Uh, no, you actually my first interview at this day. To, yesterday I got a lot of interviews. Yeah. Yeah. With Luke Mitchell and Nick yeah. Platz. Yeah. Yeah, I'm big Agents of Shield fan. Yeah. 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 And I saw your panel with Spa with, with your Pokemon. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, Sparky. Yeah. Got you. Yeah, a really nice guy called Azif gave it to um, Luke yesterday and I stole him. I stole the Pikachu because I thought he was cute. Yeah. Yeah. As when I was a child, I loved Pokemon. <laughs> I, I saw it, I played it yeah. so many times. Yeah, they're good. Um, so, any other questions about original? Yeah. 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 Um, wait a minute. Uh, yeah. What was your. Most annoying question uh, during the press tour on the originals. Um, most annoying question. Uh, <laughs> um, uh, um, 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 I don't know. I, I don't really have any annoying questions. I get annoyed that I can't answer some questions. Like people say, "What's happening next?" or "What's happening next season?" or "Is Aurora coming back?" and all that kind of stuff. And I honestly, I wish I could say something and I, I can't. Um, I actually don't like when people say who's your least favorite to work with. I think that's not nice to talk, to yeah. talk badly about people. Um, so yeah, I don't like that question. When, uh, um, when you could choose um, a serious character or a TV um, a film character, um, um, from other films, which one would you like to play? Uh, yeah, I was asked this yesterday. I kind of said pretty much anything Kira Knightley has done <laughs> because I just have loved her role. I love soccer. I will, I'd love to be a pirate. I would love to do a period piece. I would love to do a music film like Begin Again. Um, I was, she's done, oh, I mean, playing that cutie, like, girl in love, actually. Like, just all the roles she's done, I think, would I would love to do all of them. They, all of them suit my interests and personality. Um, and action films, I would have a lot of fun. So, I, I love pretty much any role that Kira Knightley has done. Um, but I love, I do love sci-fi, I love the fanciful world. Like, I think it'd be so fun to have been in Harry Potter. Or I love X-Men, I love Transformers. Um, I loved Anna Paquin as Rogue in X Men, and I was just watching, being like, oh, I would love that character, mm -hmm. the girl on the run. Um, I thought that would be really cool. So I guess that's a lot of people I've just told you. But in terms of like the vampire world, people said like, what if you could be any character on the originals? Who would you be? And I was like, I would be Aurora. Like I honestly would. She's the she's the best. Definitely my favorite girl character as well. I think she's the most interesting. Yeah, Haley's really cool too, but I think Aurora is the most fun. She's the most fun character to play. Um, I get to do a lot with her. She's really interesting. Yeah. 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 It's a big credit to the writers to, to have <laughs> fought up this crazy character and to have given me and the directors the freedom to like play with her and bring her to life. I think, um, yeah, it was a really good, good decision from them. Um, how ch changed uh, playing Aurora your life um, as an actor, um, actress? Yeah, so. uh, I had to do a lot of research actually into mental illness, into bipolar. I didn't understand it a lot before I played her, and so that that was interesting to have. Yeah, just to have more of an understanding of um, I don't know bipolar in itself and how it works and. Um, what people must go through to have that, you know, the, the highs and lows and the switching and the, and how, you know, um, the circumstances in your life uh, influence that so heavily. Uh, so that was really interesting and I think it challenged me as an actress, um, especially with the demure, poised, sexy kind of stuff because I'm, I don't parade that part of myself. So. 
or if I do, I certainly don't know that I'm doing it or I don't mean to. So um, it was a challenge. It was a real challenge for me to play Aurora and for her to be so self-confident, you know, and um, so powerful. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Um, I think that was my my something I really took away from it because I really had to practice that part of myself. Yeah. Yeah.